All right, now you're a guy that, uh, of course, we. This is a long way from the New Jersey Generals, oh, right? Oh yes, long way away. But uh, you know, you, you you you've had your foot in the door here with uh, at, at one point. Uh, what was that like for you? I know you've been over that before, but uh, when you look back on it now, how yeah. tough was it? Well, no, it's very tough. Uh, I love this sport. I think there's a lot of fine athletes in this sport, and I tell you what, it really tests you. It tests you as an athlete because it's tough walking into the uh, octagon out of cage, uh, hearing that door slam, and uh, going one-on-one -on -one against uh, another man or another woman. Yeah, that's a tough role. Well, you, you also went with the, the Olympics, uh, into the Olympics. Was this, in terms of uh, challenges for another sport, I know you were such a, yeah. uh, an outstanding football player, one of the greats. Uh, was this the, the biggest challenge for you? Because you weren't a young man. Oh, yes. You know, it, the, you know, the Olympics was, no doubt, I tell you, the opening ceremonies almost brought tears in my eyes. I enjoyed the football and all the track, but I, I must say, I think walking into this MMA has uh, no doubt been a big challenge. Uh, you know, the things that you have to learn, the things you have to do, because, you know, I've been in martial arts for a long time, but this is not just about martial arts. You know, you got to know how to wrestle. You got to know a little bit about jujitsu. You got to know how to box, a little bit about karate. Right. And, you know, you step into that cage, you better be have a little bit on all those skills or you're going to get hurt. But what got your interest? Did you always have an interest in that? I've always, I've always liked martial arts. You know, when I was in college, people don't know, I used to train martial arts and I used to fight on Sundays after church at the football game. So I would go out and fight in tournaments on Sunday afternoon and stuff after church because I, I love martial arts. And, uh, you know, in the MMA, and, you know, and I got to give it to the UFC, Dana and the Fatitos for cleaning this sport up. You know, I watched it when it was like a tough man contest. And I think by them putting the weight classes and all the rules in it, it really cleaned it up. I think it really have brought out the, the, the show, the type of athletes that are really competing in this sport. Did it help you as a young man playing football, the mental aspect of it? Oh, I think it did. I think playing football helped help you to be a little bit tougher because you have to be tough. you got to be able to take a shot because you're going to get hit. That's one thing that's just like in football. They tell you no matter what, you're going to get hit. And in this here sport here, you will get hit, so you got to get used to it. And if you don't like to get hit, this is not the sport you want to be in. <laughs> what have you been up to? Uh, what have you been up to lately now? Well, you know, I own my own company. I have a food company, so I've been running that uh, while I was even fighting. And uh, I've been blessed. I have a promotion company where I'm doing a lot of things, traveling a lot. Yeah, you know, I've been very blessed. And uh, you know, I train in the MMA. I love it. I'm, I've been at AKA, uh, you know, for about three years now. And you know, training with Luke, Daniel, and Mo, and uh, Kane, and all those guys. And I tell you, those guys become family. Uh, with as far as football goes now, who, what running backs do you uh, kind of enjoy enjoy watching? Well, you know, there's a couple of guys out there right now. You know, Adrian Peterson. I tell you, that guy is absolutely incredible to watch. Uh, you know, right now, you look at the uh, teams. It is right now. I look at more of the teams than I do an individual player. You know, I look at a team like uh, New Orleans Saints, uh, one of those scoring power. And, you know, uh, I think you can't take anything away from Green Bay right now. Green Bay is one of those teams that you never know what's going to happen with those teams. I, I think I've been keeping up with a lot of teams now lately. What, uh, how would you, is there anyone now that kind of reminds you of yourself, their style? Well, it, it's hard to say. Uh, it's hard to say because, you know, I think I was a little bit bigger than most other guys. And uh, I hate to say a little bit faster than most. But you know, I think now I had a very unusual style because I was I was sort of like a power bike with a little speed. And if you're gonna look at anyone that's like that, I think you gotta look at Adrian Peterson. The guy, but the guy's a lot quicker. I think Adrian got that real that real quick quickness that I love to see him do. I love to see what he's doing there. So uh, I think you, you look at someone like that. Then you know, a guy that he's been injured a little bit, you look at uh, Mike Fadden out there in Oakland. Mike Fadden is an incredible, incredible running back. And if he can stay healthy, I, I think he's going to do a lot of good things, hopefully. Well, that sounds good. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. I uh, want to wish you all the best. And uh, just one last thing. Did you ever regret at any point when you played with the with the generals uh, that, that you weren't right to the, in the NFL? Uh, not at all. And, you know, I tell people all the time, I think the best thing I could have done was go to the general. And people ask me why, and I said, because I think if I stayed in college, you know, I may have been drafted in the first round, which you, you go to the worst team, and then you're going to get beat up and probably only in the league three or four years. Whereas going to uh, the generals, people saw that I can do a lot of things. They thought that I was more than just a running back. 
and I think that's what kept me in the league for a long time. So I think I was blessed to go to the Gerald's to get an opportunity to play there, not just in the financial world, but I think to show people that I was a little bit more athletic than they thought. Well, again, I want to thank you for taking the time and I uh, want to wish you all the best. You gave so thank much to, to a number of sports, but well, uh, you. you'll always be known as one of the toughest running backs there was, and uh, we appreciate thank it. Thank you. Now.